voice keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. So if you want to join me for a while, just grab your hat, we'll travel like that's old style. Maybe tomorrow I'll want to settle down. Until tomorrow, I'll just keep moving on. Seems I've been here forever without you, darling. The wilderness is beautiful and my geology survey is fascinating, but I won't be happy until you and the kids get here for the summer. The flight will be a little bumpy, but lots of fun. Love you. Mommy, Mommy, please wake up. Bishop, that bag represents my life in the church. Oh. No offense, sister. That's the worst bounce it gets this trip. We'd be lucky. Are we anticipating a bad flight? No, oh, just normal. It's not a DC-10, you know. No shock absorbers. Come on, let's get you strapped in. Are you feeling all right, Mr. Bishop? Oh. Logged a couple of hours recently. When we get to Sandy Lake, I'll buy you a drink. Maybe two. <laughs> when we get to Sandy Lake, I'll buy you a drink. Ha, ha, ha. a girl. That's the deal. Here's the rest of my luggage, pilot. Now, where's my seat? Luggage goes in the back. Your seat's the empty one.
do have that seatbelt, boy. Hang on. Thunder Bay. This is RP-1700, departing Blue Route 9. ETA, 1100 hours. Get back in the morning. Over. 10-4, Frank. Watch out for grizzlies. Over. Grizzlies, my foot. You scared the bears, boy? No way. Hold on, folks. We get to look at treetops and moose. See that moose down there? Yes. Where? <laughs> You know, Dr. Kylie, Aileen? <laughs> right, Eileen. I'm a school principal. You're a doctor. We have a lot in common. Really, Mr. Hurst? Yes. Teachers need patients to survive. Doctors need patients to live on. <laughs> but surely, as a teacher, you realize that doctors need both kinds. Right, right. <laughs> Beautiful and bright. I like that. broken. Oh. Oh. What about the others? In a minute. Thank you. This webbing will do the job. Courage. Pull my shoulders back tight. You ready? Talk to me, and Loki's gone. Don't worry, honey. Everyone will be all right. All right. Find something absorbent to put over that woman's bleeding. Sister. Sister, I want you to inject adrenaline into this man. Do you think you can do it? Where? No, 
thought I'm familiar with syringes. How is he? Not good. He's had a massive coronary. Came down ahead of schedule, eh? <laughs> yes, Mr. Bishop. But everything's going to be all right. Lie down. You've had a heart attack, Mr. Bishop. I don't want you to move. Radio's dead. But we're okay. Now, don't anybody get heroic and go for help. We're a hundred miles from nowhere. Under the column, behind the prop, there's a little gadget, a transmitter. Look for it, will you? What is it? ELT. Emergency. It's our ticket home. I'll go. some kind of radio transmitter. Okay, come on. Dr. Kiley. Oh, you found him. Now I'll go find that transmitter. our lifeline to the search and rescue boys. Without it, we're a needle in a haystack. We'll be in this muskeg forever. You get my meaning? I understand, Mr. Bishop. Doctor, it's Mommy. Sister, keep him awake. He has a serious concussion. I don't want him falling into a coma. says that if he goes to sleep, he will not wake up. I can talk anybody awake. You find that transmitter and get us out of here. They never get it. Wow, that transmitter could be anywhere. In the bushes, under the plane. Along the crash track. You'll find it, sister. You've got connections. Have connections. Thank you. And you too. Sister. Coming. I'll keep that boy awake. There's a satellite a hundred miles up that'll get a signal from this and tell the world we're here. That I understand. Now, who are you? Hi, doggy. Hey, navigator. 
How did you like bush flying so far? I'm thirsty. I want to drink. Uh, me too. But don't worry. This will bring the tigers. Tigers? Yeah. I read you, Sandy Lake. There's some breakup, but go ahead, over. Roger. I've got a uh, high wind and uh, rain squalls near here, and uh, RP-1700 is 20 minutes overdue. Confirm departure, uh, 0900 hours, caller. That's affirmative. Bishop's ETA was 1100 hours. Over. He could be sitting on a lake, but I've got no radio contact. We'd better run some checks. Over. Roger. Go contact Fort Hope with the Ministry of Transport. They may have some news. I'll stay in touch. Over. I'll be on standby. Over and out. Hang on, Sam. This is going to hurt a little. It already hurts a lot. We need your strength. Ready? Sandy Lake, this is a rescue for 62 and military Buffalo, 10 miles to the south. Over. A buffalo, this is Sandy. Reading you. Over. Well, Roger, sir. We monitored your transmission to Thunder Bay. Still got problems? Over. Art is still silent. I'm standing by for reports. Over. We're on our way back to base to refuel. We'll take a look. Uh, rescue 462 out. That's 2-4, Buffalo. Over and out. Pull that bandage tight, Christy. <laughs> I'm paralyzed. Someone help me. I'll be right there, Mr. Pooch. No, I, I'm paralyzed. Don't you understand? I need help now. <laughs> Try to relax. I'm sure you're all right. What do you know? You're just an intern. Please. I've got a patient back there who's critically injured. Don't move. I'll be back to check on you. Please bring them back. Please. Sister, this woman is bleeding to death and I can't stop it. The pressure isn't enough to stop the internal bleeding. Dr. Kylie, she's going to be all right. Now you're doing just fine. That was a plane that went by, wasn't it? Why didn't you contact it? That's what you're supposed to do. First you tried to kill us, and now you won't help. Water. Thank you. Mr. Proust, now please, just relax. Everything's going to be all right. that transmitter work? Sure, it works. But there was a plane. Couldn't have been military search and rescue. Well, how long will they take? No more than 24 hours. 24 hours. We haven't got that much time. What's the matter? They've got to find us. It's Mrs. Adams. She's bleeding internally. She'll die. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. 